we have more evidence. The president seems to be obsessed with Russia, with Russian policy, and crucially, the Russian investigation. And that obsession is driving a wedge between the president and the Republican Party. Last night, New York Times reported that during a phone call with Senator Mitch McConnell that quickly devolved into a profane shouting match, the president was animated about what he intimated was the Senate leader's refusal to protect him from investigations of Russian interference in the 2016 election. Tonight, we have learned of two more phone calls to Republican senators, according to a new report from Politico. Trump expressed frustration over a bipartisan bill sanctioning Russia and tried to convince Senate Foreign Relations Chairman Bob Corker that it wasn't good policy, according to three people familiar with the call. Trump argued the legislation was unconstitutional and said it would damage his presidency. Trump also complained about the Russian sanctions measures in that call with McConnell early this month that devolved into shouting. And then Trump dialed up Senator Tom Tillis on August 7th, two days before a blunt call with the Senate Majority Leader. Tillis is working with Senator Chris Coons on a bill designed to protect Robert Mueller, that's of course the independent counsel investigating the president's Russia connections, from any attempt by Trump to fire him. A senior Republican aide also told Politico the president, it seems he is just always focused on Russia. One of the reporters who broke this story for Politico, Josh Dossie, joins me now. Um, Josh, what's the context here of how often the president is talking to Republican men members of the Senate? Well, it, it seems that the president, when he sees folks on television or he hears about a controversial uh, policy or something that will affect him, he will just immediately dial them up. He will say, get me so-and-so on the phone, and he will express to them when he's frustrated or when he's concerned or when he wants him to change something. Uh, now new chief of staff John Kelly is trying to, uh, I think, change that a little bit to try to have a senator brief, to try to have the call scheduled, to try and uh, put some uh, form and some structure into these settings. But President Trump uh, likes to call people, and uh, these senators, he sees them as his Republican allies, and he often expresses displeasure, as we and others have reported. Yeah, and, and the displeasure does seem to focus time and time again, as you report, on Russia. Uh, I thought right. the, 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 the fact that it came up, that it seemed to be the central issue with McConnell, this is after right. the health care bill f fails, according to the Times reporting, that's what they're focused on. And it seems that with the Tillis right. and Corker, that's what he's focused on as well. Well, the president's very frustrated by these probes. We see in the early morning tweets, we see him calling it a witch hunt, we see at the rallies, we see what he says in private conversations. He thinks this is an unfair uh, attack against his presidency, particularly as these probes have expanded. Uh, they've mushroomed to different uh, veins, different associates of him. Uh, now, there has been no wrongdoing proven, of course, so far, but uh, it's kind of gotten hotter and hotter over the past few months, and I think that frustrates the president. He also gets frustrated when uh, these senators are trying to take some of his autonomy away. He wanted to determine the, the bill on Russian sanctions and exactly what would happen. He wants to be able to fire Mueller if he, if he chooses to do so. He says he doesn't want to, but he says if I, if I have that option, I might want to take it. Uh, and I think he doesn't like being backed in a corner. So you see him, you know, really uh, getting frustrated by these different measures. Well, that, the, the latter uh, point about Mueller, I mean, there's a sanctions argument. Uh, we'll get to right. the sanctions in a moment. The latter point about Mueller, though, is the president said he's not going to fire Mueller, and there was a, a right. period where there was reporting indicating people were trying to him, wave him off that. It is Correct. notable to me that he would express anger at Tillis for right. uh, sponsoring a piece of legislation that would bar him from firing Mueller. Well, I think the president sees this as, as by putting this legislation on the floor, by getting bipartisan votes on it, it's a bad reflection on him. It brings up the option that he may even be considering this. Uh, it limits his hand. The president uh, fashions himself as a, uh, as a deal maker, as a negotiator, and I think he likes to have all options on the table when someone tries to say, listen, uh, we're going to curb what you can do here. We're going to take something away. We're going to take some of your power. He tends to lash out and not take that very well. I thought the, uh, your characterization, based on the reporting, uh, of the phone call with Bob Corker was fascinating to me because it seemed like the president was attempting to make a fairly uh, substantive argument against right. the sanctions Correct. on the policy merits. And my sense from the reporting that we've seen throughout his presidency is that's not something he very often does or very often even seems capable of doing. But in this right. case, he did seem focused enough to apply that argument. Well, senior aides at the White House briefed him extensively on this. It was something that he saw as a possible personal affront to him, these sanctions. He saw it as a way that it would it would make him 
and his administration look like maybe he did something wrong. Uh, and he hasn't wanted so far to really admit uh, the level of Russian hacking like some others have. So I think the president, uh, you know, gets really engaged on issues when they involve when they involve Russia or when they involve uh, deals that he wants to be involved in. Uh, here, you know, the president said to uh, Senator Corker, you know, this is unconstitutional. It's not, but he that's an argument he made to the senator. And he said, you know, we will still sanction Russia. We're not trying to go easy on them. A lot, obviously, a lot of people have questions about whether he's really interested in doing that or not. Uh, it's kind of a matter of for debate. You know, all of that said, the president here was pretty vociferous about the idea. I do not want this power taken from me, and uh, I'm willing to argue for it. He made a series of phone calls, series of public statements about this, and then he gave a uh, pretty lengthy uh, public statement when they were passed, essentially saying, I didn't want to sign this. They forced my hand, and I think that was the tell of the whole uh, issue. Yeah, it sat there for six days. Uh, they said they kept saying we're right. going to sign it. It was very unclear. Great reporting from Josh Dossi. Thank you, Josh. Thanks for having me, Chris. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.